Hello and welcome to the next demo. So the first thing we're going to do is set up ArcGIS Pro and create a project. Once I've done that, we'll bring the data in and then I'll go through those data management processes. Okay, so we can see uh, ArcGIS Pro is opened. I'm going to create a new project. So I'm just going to create a map. That's going to go into the same place that I save all my projects and I'm going to call it uh, Frame Camera. I've selected the box that says create a new folder for this project. Just something I like to do every time. And there we go. So we're up and running. We've got a new project open. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do that bit of data management. So I've got my data that I've showed you in the last video. What I'm going to do is copy that. And I am going to paste that into that folder. Okay, now I know all my data is in the same place and I'm ready to go. That's just how I like to do things. Okay, so at this stage, I'm going to add one of those images to Arc and just see what happens so we can familiarize ourselves with it. I'll go back into Arc Pro. I'm going to add data. I'm going to go into my data folder, just add one of those rasters and see what happens. Once that data appears, we can just zoom to layer, and see where it's gone. And as per usual, it's in the sea. Okay. This will be located on the equator because again I'm using WGS84 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. So the next thing to do is to convert our data frame so that we're in British National Grid. Okay, once we're in British National Grid, we can zoom to the UK and we'll see that that image has moved to just off the coast of Cornwall. And that's what we would be expecting to see. Okay, so when we're at this stage then, there's still a bit of information we can get from this data. What I'd like you to do is just right click on the data, we'll go into properties, and we'll just have a look through here and see what we can find about the information. If we look at some of the raster metadata in there, uh, we can look at spatial reference, etc., etc., and try and find out as much as possible. This information will be useful later on. Now, if we were going to be using some drone imagery, then at this stage we would go up to the imagery tab, we'd click on imagery, we'd click new workspace, we would create a new workspace and add our imagery that way. Now, we can do this with frame camera imagery, but for today's demonstration, we're going to use the uh, the catalog method of bringing imagery into a mosaic data set and author rectifying it first before we do tie points and GCPs. So we'll have a look at that now. Okay, so in order to bring that data into ArcGIS Pro, the first thing we need to do is we need to sort out our frames table and our camera table. Earlier on, I showed you some of the metadata and we'll have another quick look at that. I've got my camera calibration report. Pay attention to the pixel size and the focal length. Also the principal point. The next thing we'll look at is the exterior orientation file. Here we've got the file names and the XYZ, Omega Phi and Kappa information. Okay, the next place to go to, once we know this information, is frame parameter calculator. Looking in here, we can see that I've inputted the number of columns and the number of rows and the pixel size. I saw, we saw earlier that I obtained this information from within Pro by right clicking on the imagery and looking at properties. These are the inputs, and then these are the outputs. Let's have a look at where they go.
here we've got the camera table. There's only one camera being used, so we only need one entry here. See, we've got the focal length, principal X and Y, and then the outputs. So once you've calculated your inputs, they will be mapped across into here, the outputs. So that's the camera table. That information has come from the calculator. And then the other place we need to look is the frames table. Okay, because I'm using three different images, I've got three entries in here. We've got the XYZ, Omega Phi and Kappa information, and we've got the file path. The one important thing you need to do at this stage is make sure this file path is correct. Because I've moved the data, mine will be incorrect, so I'm going to fix that now. Okay, so I've updated that file path. So all that information looks to be correct. My file name's correct, XYZ, Omega Phi and Kappa. I've got three entries in the frames table, so I can save that. My camera table is filled out, focal length, principal point, and then the outputs of the calculator. So I'll save that. And then I don't need this calculator anymore, so I'll close that. And that is the process for data management. I've created a project, all my imagery is in the right place, my frames and camera tables are filled out. And the next stage, I'm going to go back into Arc Pro and I'm going to create my mosaic data set and add the imagery. And we've pretty much done most of the work now, we're nearly finished. So thank you for listening and look forward to the next video.